From Thornberry Creek at Oneida, in less than a week, the Thornberry Creek LPGA Classic gets underway at Thornberry Creek at Oneida, a golf tournament sure to attract thousands of spectators. And as Chris Schuler reports, it takes hundreds of volunteers to keep it running smoothly. At Thornberry Creek at Oneida, crews set the stage for the return of the Thornberry Creek LPGA Classic. Casey Mitchell is out and about managing the many volunteers needed to make the tournament run smoothly. Crucial. They're very important to us. Um, they make up about 500 to 600 of the people who are out on course for us every day, Monday through Sunday. When play begins next week, 144 of the world's best golfers will walk the course with over 60,000 spectators looking on. And hundreds of volunteers will be behind the scenes, on the course, in the clubhouse, even transporting players across the community. They do everything from getting the ice out on course to helping us make sure that the spectators know kind of when to quiet down when a player is approaching the ball. We got a little bit of everything for everyone. Mitchell spends months recruiting volunteers, traveling the region, and publicizing positions on the tournament's website. We've been to many of the golf shows, Fox City's Golf Show, Milwaukee, Chicago, um, word of mouth, local golf clubs, local um, organizations have helped us out. Dogged persistence that finds volunteers like Kathy Brewer of Kokona, who loves golf and loves giving back. I love that the LPGA is coming to Green Bay and trying to not only um, spread the message about women's golf, but also helping to spread that message in our area. They just want to be a part of it. They love golf and they want to help the community and be a part of this event. A registration fee covers the cost of uniforms and volunteers get meals, preferred parking and grounds badges for family and friends, along with Mitchell's gratitude and the support of these players. The LPGA players are incredible with their gratitude. They really appreciate their volunteers. They understand that these tournaments wouldn't run as smoothly without them. Reporting in Hobart, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News. Thanks, Chris. So does it sound like fun? The tournament still needs volunteers. For more information, look for this story on our website. We are greenbay.com.